In today's video, we'll be looking at the first few steps in creating a course. So first, you need to click on Site Administration, then go to Courses tab, and click on Add a New Course. From here, you can type in the full name of your course. Make sure that your full name of the course has to be has to have relevance in terms of uh, or identifiable in terms of its when it is being offered because it's it might be a fact that you will be offering the same uh, course for other semesters so to make this course particular course unique to that particular semester you might want to put the information of the semester when this particular course is being offered then the short name sometimes you you might wanna give importance to the short name because most of the time it is better for you to search your course based on short name so if the short name is better if it's a uh, unique so in this case we also add a code pertaining to it to the semester then the category of course in this case this is just a training um, server I don't have any other categories but uh, in our real real uh, real life server we have a lot of categories uh, we will just be using this category training for this uh, demonstration now the course start date of course, in our, our case, we'll be starting at August 17. I don't want to enable the course end date because I want it to be dynamic depending on the number of weeks you have in your course, starting from the start date. Of course, the start date has to be Monday so that your weekly coverage will be from Monday to Sunday. And then the course summary, usually you'll put here the course description of the, this particular course as, as what, can, what you can find in your uh, syllabus or instructional guide have a lot of typos here all right now you can put the course image usually it's always a good idea to prepare a course image when you create a course kaya aron dili na magbalik balik later on para magbutang lang o course image your course as it is displayed on our page would look rather dull if wala siya course image so you can look for uh, an image on the internet that would somehow fit this particular course. Or if you have uh, the skills, you can create your course image yourself. Uh, for my case, I have uh, just downloaded a, in this case, uh, since this is Philippine history, I just downloaded a picture from Google uh, uh, by searching from Google and downloaded it here. And then that's what I am going to upload here as the course picture. This is just a uh, some Bayani pictures that I found on the internet. Then the course format, of course, we'll be using weekly format here at MDC. And after clicking on the weekly format, uh, somehow the page jumps around. So I'm okay. It's just the uh, model adjusting things based on your format. Now you can. Uh, Check how many, by the way, this is not sections of, sections per se, the, the sections in our class, no. It is, the sections is every week is one section here. So, we'll be using 18 weeks, so number of sections will be 18 sections. The sections we are talking about here is your, the sections of your course uh, in terms of your delivery, not the sections of the division of your students. Then course layout, you would like to show one section per page. So meaning the students will look at your course one week in one page. 
so mana sya then you can do file uploads you can limit the num- the amount of upload that the student can have mean the the size of the upload that the student can do the default value is 128 mb that is uh, already a lot if you're just expecting students to submit uh, documents word documents or pdf files or pictures it doesn't have to be 128 mb as you can see you, the document files are very small so you might want to limit the upload size of your students but if you are trying to give them assignments that allow, allows them to submit videos for example or audios those types of files will require a little bit more uh, m size or disk size so you can use the 128 mb uh, site limit for groups you have to make sure that they are separate groups this is intended for classes with many sections and then that's it you click on save save and display and now you are brought up to the participants part of your uh, course where you can this way you can add all the participants for this course uh, of course the participants would include the students and of course the teacher right now this course do not have a teacher but we'll be adding some students into the course so you click on uh, enroll users and then search for the names of the students this is of course assuming that the students are already added into the system uh, for that purpose we have mr joel balibagoso to extract the data the enrollment from the enrollment system and upload those students into our moodle system and so by the end of enrollment you have all the students are already enrolled in the moodle system they will have their own username and password and of course you can now search them here and add them enroll them into your particular course so it has to be the teachers will be enrolling students into their courses this way so you select the names of the students you can add students in bulk just like this so we'll be selecting five of them or is it six and then enroll make sure that your assigned role is student so later on after this after you have created your course so Mona Nasia, we have our six students in in this particular course you can now go ahead and click and proceed to course content and this is where you can now start uh, adding contents into your course of course adding contents we will have a separate session for this 